Hello everyone, this is the second video in IoT Data Simulator series where I'm gonna show you how to install this tool on your local machine and we'll explain what are the main concepts of the application. To install and start IoT Data Simulator you should have Docker and Docker Compose to be installed on your computer. If your workstation meets this criteria, download the release folder and run the following command docker compose up minus d. I won't actually run this command because I have this tool already installed and started on my computer. So when this process is completed and docker containers are started, you can open simulator UI in browser. Since I'm working on Windows 10, for me UI is available by the URL localhost 8090. The same URL will be on Linux and Mac OS. But if you're working on Windows 7 or older version, the URL will be your Docker machine IP and port 8090. Okay, here we have screen which is called Sessions. Session is the core entity of the application because data is actually being generated and sent to some IoT platform or another target system only when session is started. Session has three states started, paused and stopped. Session can also be restarted. Session console which is shown at the bottom of the screen displays data that is generated by session and sent to some external system. The console has some nice features such as collapse expand, erase functionality, filtering by session name and message type. The next concept I'd like to introduce is called data definition, which is one of the building blocks that session consists of. All data definitions that you create in application are available on data definitions tape. IoT data simulator tool is all about data processing, so data that we are working with should be described in some way. Data definition consists of optional data set and also optional schema entities. Data set provides actual data content and represents JSON or CSV file with data. Schema entity in, in its turn describes data structure that we're working with. So if data set is provided, tool will replay its content when session is started. And if schema provided, we know the actual data structure we're working with, so tool will be able to help you with data processing. We will take a closer look at how to work with data definitions later in our series. Ok, let's move to the next device step. Device encapsulates specific set of values and target system settings. Let's say, for example, that you need to simulate a few devices which send the data with the same structure, but each device has its own unique ID and geo-position properties. In this case, we can move these unique values in, in devices and configure session to inject these values into processing payload. We will have a separate video related to devices later in the series. And the last high-level concept I'd like to talk about today is called target system. This entity describes external system where simulated data is sent to. We have many target system types that are supported out of the box such as MQTT broker, Kafka, REST endpoint and others. Each target system type has its own set of supported security options, credentials, certificates, tokens and some additional properties such as header and data serializers. That's it for now. In the next video we're gonna create our first simple session. See you there. Bye.